when you give somebody a pause, it's a phrase that means, you know, pause means to stop for a minute, right? When you're mm -hmm. watching a video, maybe you need to go to the bathroom, you can press pause, you stop the video for a minute. So to give somebody a pause means um, to cause someone to stop and think about something. So yeah, yeah I would just, definitely be like, mm -hmm. yeah, it's like saying make someone stop, give someone pause. Yeah. It's basically the same. So yeah, a tree full of goats. That If you saw it, you would certainly go, now what is going on here? Okay, and where does this happen? The article says, yet in Morocco, which is a country in North Africa, it is common for goats to climb tall argan trees in search of food. Ooh. Now I had to look this up, but an argan <laughs> tree, A-R-G-A-N, argan tree, it's a type of tree, it only grows in North Africa. They're about eight to 10 meters high, but they have very wide branches that spread out quite far. Mm, okay. Now, as we'll talk about a bit later, the trees have these hard nuts and the nuts contain seeds that are rich in oil. And the trees also have this kind of sweet fruit, but the fruit is covered in a more bitter peel. So oh, okay. sort of sweet and bitter all together in one fruit. Oh, okay, so maybe the goats are climbing the trees because they they feel hungry or something. Well, let's find Probably. out. All right, so next the article says, Morocco has an especially dry climate and food can be scarce. Mm. Okay, right. So they're kind of like in the desert. So that's almost, what, almost yeah. Almost in the desert. Yeah, the south of Morocco is where the Sahara Desert hits. So right. not a lot of water in the air. Right, so, so food is very scarce there. Now, scarce is spelled S-C-A-R-C-E. -E. Scarce, it's an adjective and it means very, very small in amount or number, or it's not very easy to get. So remember, um, we can also think about it like this. Water is very scarce in the desert. Right, because it's very dry, there's, not f there's no food, there's yeah, nothing around you. Yeah, if you haven't you. got water going through all the fields and the countries, mm -hmm. you're not going to be able to grow a lot of grass and other plants that the goats like to eat. So the goats, the ones that are wandering around wild, they're going to get hungry quite yeah. easily. <laughs> so as we see in the article, this, so there not being much food or food being scarce, that's what this is referring to, this makes argan trees with their leaves and fruits especially attractive to goats. Mm. So not only is do they eat the, like you said, they eat right. pretty much everything. So they'll eat yeah. the fruits, they'll eat maybe the nuts, they'll eat the leaves, they'll probably eat, eat the bits of the tree. branches. <laughs> yeah, surprised they don't just push it down and just eat it. But they climb up to get the bits they want. Yeah. And why do they do that? Well, it says, for centuries, goats have been climbing argan trees in the hope of, of having a filling meal. So for centuries, meaning for hundreds of years, the goats have been doing this and they do this in the hope of. Now this phrase means to have something to hope or to wish or hope for something. Okay, usually this sentence pattern is in the hope of this phrase plus um, a noun or verb plus ing. For example, we can say, we walked further out the road in the hope of finding someone else to help us. Yeah, we can also say, in hopes of, right. has exactly the same meaning. Now these goats are doing this in the hope of finding a filling meal. Now the adjective <laughs> filling, when we talk about a meal, a filling meal is one that fills you up so you don't feel hungry afterwards or you don't need to eat again for a while. For example, if you have a really filling lunch, you might not eat dinner that day. Mm -hmm. And now some foods are more filling than others. So meat right. tends to make you feel full more quickly than like rice or vegetables or other things like yeah. that. Yeah, I've always found um, the English breakfast to be very filling. Yes, if you have one of those, you usually <laughs> skip lunch. That's the one with yeah. all the different things on the plate. I love it. And mm -hmm. it, yeah, usually skip lunch and maybe even till dinner time, you're not really That's hungry. That's it, you're not really well. hungry. It's <laughs> filling. <laughs> All right, so let's continue reading. The article says, what's more, many locals encourage goats to do so. Local is spelled L-O-C-A-L, local. It's a noun and it means the people that live in a specific city, town, or area. So if you're born and raised in Taiwan, then you are a local here. 
However, if you are visiting another country, you're not called a local, you are called a visitor, or we can say you're called a tourist. For example, we can use it in a sentence like this. My friend is a local and took us to a lot of delicious restaurants around town. Okay, so mm. the locals, the people in Morocco, want the goats yeah. in the trees. Right. Interesting. We also see that some, some locals, even trim the branches of argan trees to make it easier for goats to climb them. Mm -hmm. Now, to trim something means to cut off a part of something and cut it away, either to make it thinner or, in the case of a plant, have fewer leaves. In the case of a person, you can trim your hair. Yeah. We trim it to make it shorter or just so there's less of it, you know, you kind mm -hmm. of quickly cut some bits away. Uh, you could trim a plant so that the outer leaves and the smaller branches are removed to kind of make it fit a nice shape. You would right. trim your hedge so it looks square instead of just messy, mm -hmm. for example. Trim your garden. Exactly. You know, some people do that They as trim well. the grass to make it all look nice. But mm -hmm. why? Why are they doing this yeah. to get the goats in the trees? Do they like seeing this image or it's something? It's pretty funny, it's but fun. there's got to be more than that. Okay, well, let's take a look. It says, that's because when goats eat argan fruits, they often spit out the hard nuts inside. Ah, oh, okay. okay. So I kind of see where this is going because remember, maybe the nut is something that they can use. Yeah. Right? So what the goats do is they eat this nut, then they spit it out. Now, spit is spelled S-P-I-T, spit. It's a verb and it means to force something out of your mouth, like saliva or food, okay? In Chinese, we say pui, <laughs> okay? A lot of times, people spit out the beetle nut, okay? What can you spit out? You can spit out beetle nut. Um, this is the, you know, the red, the, the thing that people chew and they spit the red juice out. It doesn't really smell very nice. Or if the food is too hot, you can spit the food out because uh, maybe it might, well, it's burning your tongue or something. Okay, so this is what spit this action is. We can use it in a sentence like this. The soup was too salty, so I had to spit it out. So spit can also be a noun, mm -hmm. in which case it's kind of the, the liquid yeah. that comes out. And it's an interesting verb. I believe it has two past tense forms, depending wow. on where you're from. I think in the UK, we use spat as mm -hmm. the past tense, S-P-A-T. But I think in the US, spit is also the past tense. Uh, but I'm really used to saying spat, though. Okay. So I think it also really depends on, you know, just maybe where you're where from you've or grown what up you've and the learned. language you've used. So it's spit yeah. and spat, I think, are both okay for the past tense. So the nuts get spat or spit out, and that's what people want. But why? In the article, it says these nuts, also found in goat droppings, oh. are used to make argan oil. <gasps> now, droppings, and mm. we always <laughs> use we always use this as a plural noun with the s droppings. Basically, we mean poop. <laughs> we mean the poo goats poo. But we only really use the word droppings of certain animals like sheep, goats, birds insects and kind of things like rats and Ugh. squirrels and stuff. We don't often say things like cows, they've got their own kind of thing. Yeah. We don't use it for humans. We don't say human droppings. <gasps> we mostly use it for these animals, okay? Right. But it's the poo. And yeah. of course, if the goats have been eating the nuts and the seeds, it's going to come out Yeah, the other actually, way. you know what? I'm starting to have... I'm starting to get really nervous because actually... I use argan oil on my hair sometimes oh. because sometimes like, I think right now it's a it's a beauty trend where you can use right. this oil to help you know you know take so care of your hair. So you're using oil that may have come out of a goat's poo yeah. droppings probably. Why not just use the goat poo? Oh, Maybe that'll like, work. But then it won't smell nice. Okay. I like the argan oil because it smells nice. Okay. Okay. Well. Anyway, I don't want to think about it right now, but the article then says, this valuable oil helps support the country's economy. Yeah, right? I guess if you can use it to make mm -hmm. hair treatment stuff, that's pretty valuable. Yeah, why not use it? I'll, I'm buying it. All right, so we see the word support here. It's spelled S-U-P-P-O-R-T, support. Support is a verb and it means to show that you approve something by doing it or to show help or assistance. Okay, so for example, have you ever thought about this? What do you guys want to do in the future? 
okay? Do you want to become an artist, a singer, a writer, a movie star? Okay, if your parents say, go ahead, go for it, it means they support you. They want you to do it. They approve of it and they want to try to do their best to maybe help you kind of achieve this dream. Okay, we can use it in a sentence like this. All of the fans supported the team by cheering them on. Okay, and in this case, we're the argan oil is supporting the economy. Mm -hmm. Economy means the flow of money either inside, into, or out of a country, city, or other kind of group or thing. And it involves buying and selling goods, supplying services, and so on. It's basically where the money comes from, what mm -hmm. you do with it, and where the money goes afterwards. If a country has a strong economy, there will be plenty of jobs. So to support an economy means right. creating jobs, creating something that can be sold. So the oil and the production of argan oil for mm -hmm. Tiffany's hair <laughs> supports people's lives. It mm -hmm. means they have jobs, they can sell things, they can make money. Uh-huh, all right, so next in the article says, in this way, Moroccan goat's unusual habit is valuable to the whole nation. All right, so we can see that the depend on this this argan nut, this argan tree, and because of the goats kind of eating it for them and helping mm -hmm. them out, it really helps them out with the whole economy. Into you know, I think it, in general it provides a lot of jobs. It provides a lot of people different things too. Yep. So this one nut can give off so many things. Mm -hmm. All right, so here we saw the word Moroccan. Now, basically, Moroccan is just uh, a way to describe the people from the or country anything, of Morocco. anything, anything from yeah. Morocco. So, exactly. Yeah, as a noun, it could be a Moroccan, a guy mm -hmm. from Morocco, or a Moroccan something, Moroccan food, Moroccan yeah. restaurants, Moroccan goats, uh -huh. and so on. Actually, there's also something called Moroccan oil, too. Mm. So I think it's both kind of the same thing, but maybe argan oil sounds a little bit fancier. I it know. does. And if you knew the whole true story... That you're putting goat poo on your hand? No, you're not. <laughs> That's just silly. Yeah, I think uh, they probably did something else to me. They make probably it nice cleaned it good Yeah, first. don't worry. All right, well, that brings us to the end of our article. So it's now time for today's For You Chat question.